to my channel it's your girl Christy M and I'm coming back with another one um, it's, first of all excuse my background it looks a little crazy you know I'm back at home visiting in Ohio and my daughter sleeps here so yeah it's not the best but anyways I went to hop on here and give you guys a quick short video um, about an issue that I'm at, that's actually happening right now that's just the worst the worst, the worst, the worst. And I'm a little infuriated by it. So let's get straight into it. So the name of the company is called Maven Gig. So it's um, a car, it's a, it's a platform where Uber Lyft drivers could rent or lease these cars out um, to do their work. So you can do multiple different platforms with this vehicle and you can lease it out and you pay each week. Um, they have all Chevy cars, so everything's Chevy cars. They're all newer cars, um, 2016 on up. And so um, they rent and lease out the cars specifically for Uber and Lyft drivers. So um, I, I'm re currently renting a car, leasing a car through them. Um, and I'm actually leasing out a um, 2017 EV Bolt. So it's an electric car. So it's really nice. I mean, you guys, it's like top of the line. Um, you guys you guys can pick up a vehicle. Um, you pay each week. So, you know, and you can pick any car. Like, you you go on to their, um, to their website, maven.com, maven I want to say, or their app. You just go and select, you know, a date when you want to go pick up the car. And you select your own vehicle. You go to the thing. You sign all the papers, you go through all the process of that, super easy, super quick, and then you go about your business. Like, it's really, really a good concept, you know, to start off with, or a concept of, you know, getting you into a car quick and fast. But what you need to know before you go and do this is, you know, you need to do your research and do more information about their insurance because I am going through hell right now with this insurance company and with this company and an accident I was into. So Monday, um, June 6th, I was involved in a car accident. It was not my fault. I am a perfect driver, okay? So it was not my fault. <clears throat> and this car hit me on the highway. As much as I tried to avoid this car accident, there is no way I could have avoided this like at all. There were cars on this side and they just, just, it was impossible. I avoided it, I beat my horn. I did everything I tried to do to avoid this accident. But this girl hit my car, pulled over, got all the information and everything like that. And I immediately contacted Element, which is a company that's through Maven. They have different third parties that you go through when you're in an accident and when things happen. Contacted um, me, um, Element, Maven, did a police report, called the police first and everything. Did everything I was supposed to do, right? And me thinking like, okay, I was in this accident. It wasn't my fault. Maven's going to have my back 100%. Da -da -da -da. Uh, absolutely not, okay? Let me first off by telling you, once you get in an accident in one of the Maven vehicles, um, you have to report it, of course, like I did. I did the right thing. I reported it. But then you have to take that car. They schedule they schedule a day or time for you to take that vehicle um, to an actual dealership where it can be fixed and it, whatnot. Or, or it actually, in all reality, where it stays and you'll never see it again. So, in my case, mine was just like a little scratch. Like, so when she hit it, it was like a scrape, a big scrape. So, it was drivable still. So, I ended up keeping the car until the next day because the dealership place was closed afterwards. And so, da 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 So, they... After I turned the vehicle in and everything like that, I wanted to get more information about the company, the insurance. I wanted to make a claim. I needed to do everything I need to do to cover my behind. So, let me just start by saying this. Maven gig they have a third party insurance they give you insurance that comes with the vehicle now you are paying for this insurance the insurance is actually included into your bill each week that you pay to lease the vehicle out what they do not tell you is that you cannot contact this insurance company you have no contact no nothing with the insurance what they do not tell you is that you have to wait 30 up to 30 days to be able to get a new car even if it's your accident or if it's not your fault but either it's your fault or it's not your fault what they do not tell you is that you have to pay a thousand dollar deductible even if it's your fault even if it's not your fault there's a lot of different loopholes and things that they don't tell you when you get to an accident and let me tell you guys 
Maven gig does not give a damn. They don't give a damn about you at all whatsoever. They can care less. Let me tell you guys, I'm losing out on work. It's, it's almost been two weeks now. I'm losing out on work because of this because I can't get into another vehicle because, you know, they're holding me hostage for me. They, they're they doing their research, their investigation. There's nothing to investigate. You guys have everything in hand. I provided all proper documents, information, police support, and everything. And still you know, I have to wait. So it's been, went through my emails, was able to pull up the insurance company um, and seen that there was no type of numbers to contact these people. There was no information but a name. So I ended up putting, plugging the name into Google, pulling up a number, calling them, letting them know what happened. And then they ended up giving me a number to the name of the their insurance company, their third party insurance company. So. For all my Maven drivers, if you are new to getting a Maven vehicle, or even if you're in a Maven vehicle, you need to double check your insurance. You need to go and get adequate information about this insurance company. You're gonna need a contact information. You're gonna need everything to, that you need to know about this insurance because if you are from a different state like I am, I'm from Ohio and I moved to LA and I don't really have my own vehicle right now, um, or you don't have a car at all, so you use this to work from, you're going to be in a hell hole bunch of a shit mess. That's all I can call it. It's a big mess. The name of that third party insurance is called ESIS. And um, I was able to contact them, but unfortunately, they're always busy with other people. And so you can leave a message with your name and number, but they never call you. And they've never, they haven't called me, you guys. So it's very unprofessional, unprofessional. The business practice about it is totally wrong. Um, you should be able to contact your insurance company when you're in an accident. You should be able to make a claim with that insurance company. You should be able to speak to somebody in regards to this because you just never know what's going on. So the only person I've been able to talk to, honestly, is the other party's insurance. It's getting information about everything. And, you know, um, so you guys just do your research. Um, figure out the name of the company, ask so many questions about it. Um, you know, if, if you can get your own insurance when having the name and card, I probably would do that. That way, you know, if something goes on, you have somebody you can call on because you really don't have anybody to call on with this company. And I if you guys have any questions um, about Maven Gig and their insurance, um, how everything works, the process and everything, feel free to drop it down below. I want to educate all of the Maven drivers about this insurance and the effect that it has on some people. Because if you were to ever get into an accident, you need to know what steps to take next to get you back into the vehicle. A lot of us use these cars to work from and it's from the platforms and we need a car to be able to do that. You know, at least I did. <laughs> because I'm from a different state and you know, I need my car back. I need my car back. So I want to educate you guys on anything. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down below. I'm actually, I actually added myself onto the Facebook group there as well. Um, and I've um, made a, a few different um, re replies to some of the people that are going, that are um, going through the same issue as I am. And so I hope my situation gets resolved and I hope that it gets resolved for you. But this insurance, it's, it's the company and how they have it set up. It's just so crazy that nobody would never know unless you're a really detailed person. But I've done my investigation and I have some good uh, information behind me to support me. So, hope you guys, hope this is a good information for you guys. Hopefully, this helps somebody. And I'm going to do an up-to-date video as well, you know, just gave my ending result and what actually happened because I want you guys to know everything you need to know about this company. So I hope to YouTube. see your videos. Also subscribe to my channel. Click that little alert thing on the side. I don't know if it's on the right or the left. Whatever side is on. Click it so you can be alerted when I do upload new videos. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Kiss me with your eyes open.